What's up, guys? Welcome to local band Smokeout. Smokeout. Any genre from, from anywhere in the entire world. I, I want to hear your music. He goes by the name of Rob. He's in Searching Serenity! Yeah, hell yeah! Woo! What's up, brother? How's your day? It's going great, man. I'm excited to be here. Hell Thanks yeah. Me. I appreciate you joining. Do me a favor, properly introduce yourself, plug, promote anything and everything, and let us know whereabouts in the world you are at the moment. Yeah. So my name is Robert Manzoni. I am from Jacksonville, Florida, uh, and I am in Searching Serenity. Christian deathcore one man band. <laughs> and then where where's all your social media links? So everybody knows where to follow and uh, support. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Uh, I've got I've got Facebook and Instagram. Those are my main two things I use. And if you just look up searching Serenity Band, uh, you can find me on both of those. I try and post pretty often. So yeah. <laughs> when you uh, when you formed Serenity, was it always yep. a plan to be a solo act, or is just when you when you found band members, it just didn't work out, and you just said, you know what, f I'm just gonna do it all myself. <laughs> yeah, no. So uh, we formed initially as a full band um, in like the end of 2013. At this point, and it was a full band, and we performed and played around Florida and some of Georgia for about four years or so, and it was in 2018 uh, that the rest of the members decided to step away just because of life. Um, and at that point, I was kind of like, okay, do I keep going with it solo? Do I try and get new members or let it go? Um, and at that, at that point, it just kind of felt best to just go solo because um, I was kind of wanting to step back from shows for a little while anyways. Um, but I'm glad I did. Uh, got to keep going with it. Got to put out a lot of How long ago and, was know. that when when all the members stepped away and, yeah. and you took over? That was at this point that was uh just about six years ago. I think that was like February twenty eighteen. Are you so, are you back to playing shows now or is it just kind of uh just uh like an <laughs> online thing? Yeah, with Searching Serenity specifically, uh I'm just online. Just online. Um I have done some shows with another band, uh by the name of With Blood Comes Cleansing. Uh, but that's separate. But it's always, um, always evil and brutal metal every time, though, right? <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, absolutely. Where does where does that stem from? When when let's go back to when you were younger, yeah. like who made you want to pick up an instrument, pick up a microphone, uh, and just yeah. create music? Man, I uh, I initially felt inspired by Joe Perry of Aerosmith. I initially felt inspired to pick up guitar um from him for whatever reason they were the first band i got into and kind of over time like i got into metallica then i got into slipknot and it was like from that point it just went downhill you know <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah that uh, aerosmith they were they were the ones that um that got me into playing whatnot Aerosmith's on my bucket list of bands that I've never seen live, that I have to see live someday. Yeah. I've never seen them in Vegas. I know they have the residency, or I don't mm. know if they still have it, but uh, sure, I wasn't able to see that. Have you ever got to see them live and see Joe just shred in person? No, man. I'm same boat. Bucket list. Damn I would man. love to. I think they were going to be coming through, and they like had to cancel like a lot of that tour last fall because uh, Stephen like messed up his voice. So I don't know. I haven't heard anything about. When they're gonna be doing that again? When they're gonna get back to it? But I need to see them, man. <laughs> I believe the first song we ever heard from Serenity was yep. "Last Christmas," and I am a die-hard <laughs> Wham fan. And someone, oh, yeah. someone said you have to check this out. And then we were hooked ever since. What inspired you to make a Christmas album? And it's probably the most brutal Christmas album I've ever heard. That's hilarious. I love that. Appreciate that, man. <laughs> um, I, I'm a big fan of August Burns Red, and I love like I love their Christmas music, you know. So like when I first got turned on to them specifically to their Christmas albums, I was like, "This is genius! I want to do that too." <laughs> but I don't want it to be as light, you know. So I was that's why I loved messing with those songs and just make them like stupid heavy. But then like I'm sitting there like laughing about it because I'm like, these are great songs and they're so peppy. Now they sound terrible. <laughs> do you do you record the drums or do you use like a digital drum uh, program? There, it's they're digital. They're digital MIDI. What what yeah. DOS what DOS system do you primarily use? Because I know you play yeah. bass and guitar and obviously you do vocals, so you can do everything else. Sure. But what what do you use to record everything? And how how does yeah, a song man. start from scratch for you? 
Yeah. So I use uh, Logic on Mac. Um, I'm a diehard Mac Logic fan. So I, I use that. Um, usually, I, I'm a guitarist at heart. That's That was my first instrument. So that's kind of usually how I start any song is I start off with some kind of riff, and then I just go from there. Um, and yeah, once I can lay down at least one or two riffs, I can start doing drums along with it and just start from the beginning and keep going until I feel it's good to end. So that's where that Joe Perry comes in. So it's always guitar yep. to start, and then you kind of find the melodies and, and the harmonies and riffs and, and what to do and then lay it down and then add all the drums afterwards? Yep, yep, absolutely. Very cool, hell yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, uh, man, appreciate that, yeah. I don't know if you've ever seen any of these interviews before, but uh, we all, I always ask my guests to bring hot sauce. Uh, did you bring yeah. a hot sauce for us? I got it. Yep. I got some just classic Texas Pete. Hell yeah. Awesome. To be able to <laughs> do the trivia portion, the cool thing is you actually have the uh, the advantage here. What movie oh, or, t or TV show? You get to pick. What movie or TV show have you seen the most? Where if I look up trivia on this movie or TV show, it's impossible I stump you because you've seen it a hundred times. Holy cow. Now the trivia is going to be quite difficult, so pick something you've seen many, 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 many okay. times. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. In my opinion, it's easier to go movie versus TV show, but it's your call. Yeah. I, okay. I'm I'm probably risking it because it's been a year or two since I've done a full watch through, but I'm gonna say How I Met Your Mother only because I know I've watched through that show more than I've watched almost anything else. <laughs> you got it. How I Met Your Mother. Give me a so second. We'll, we'll see. You. On yeah. that, um, I know you just released a new album. Do, who who did the yeah. like? Once you have completed everything in Logic, do you send it sure. to anybody? Do you do the mixing and mastering yourself? Do you have a go to guy? Who is that guy? Uh, I, I do it all myself, honestly. Um, I try and, I try and send it to people just to get some like ears on it, get some thoughts and whatnot. Um, but at that most recent album and pretty much every other one, it's self written, self produced, self everything. Um, that's impressive. So yeah. Thanks it, man. Who do you learn your tips and tricks from? Or is it just YouTube tutorials when regarding like specifically like the mastering part of it? Sure, I, feel, I feel like yeah. I talk to a lot of bands and, and they kind of don't know what to do after they've tracked everything and it sounds great in the headphones. And then now sure. what? How do you, now, how do, yeah. yeah. How did you learn that, that process? Yeah. So I went to, I went to the university of North Florida here in Jacksonville and I actually went there for sound production. Um, so I learned, I got to learn like the mixing and mastering and stuff there in, uh, in college. But what's funny is that even though that, you know, that was huge, got to do four years of that, I still learn so much stuff from YouTube as well. <laughs> I always I always tell people it's like the college part gave me a great foundation to understand what to search on YouTube. <laughs> I, um, I but, search YouTube tutorials all the time, so I know exactly yeah, what you're talking about. It's huge. Yeah, YouTube is insane. So I, I, I would say a fair mix. I'd say a fair mix for me. <laughs> I imagine you're a big anime slash Pokemon fan because I see everything around you and I see your shirt. Yep. What is what is the best yep. anime of all time? Holy cow! The best one of all time. I freaking love Attack on Titan, and, and that's you know that's basic, but it's basic because it's so good and because it's so popular. You know, as someone that's um, never seen it, what what makes it so good though? Really, really. Uh, a lot of people compare it to like The Walking Dead, which was also, you know, that was a pretty monumental show for its time, I guess. Um, I think it's so powerful because it's like it's a great story and it appeals to people even that aren't normal like anime fans. Like I've watched through it with my mom who has never been an anime buff or anything like that. Um, I think the story is just got it's got so much depth and emotion um, which a lot of anime do, of course. There's so many great anime out there, it's hard to whittle it down. Um, man, it's, yeah, I don't know. It's hard for me to even find a way to describe it beyond that, but it's it's killer. I think it's a pretty killer one for sure. I'll have to check it out, but my job now yeah. is to stump you. Okay. And whether or not you get, get it right or wrong, yeah. I'm gonna do some hot sauce. In season <laughs> three, of How I Met Your Mother, there's an episode called We're Not From Here. Ted and Barney pretend to be from out of town in order to pick up girls. 
What state do they say they're from? Minnesota? That is not correct! Ah. They say they're from Missouri. You're really close. Oh, dang it. Okay. All right. We're both doing hot sauce. Don't worry. Cheers. Do I put it in a, can I put it in a shot glass? Is that it's okay? It's up to you. Or you can just take a big swig. All right. I'll go ahead and just, there we go. Load it up. All right. Whew. While nice. we're while we're stinging, <laughs> while the lips are tingling and burning, oh, yeah. tell me oh, what yeah. you got going on in 24, 2024. What can we expect from, from Serenity? And just yeah. any, anything you're allowed to tell us that we can look forward to. Yeah. Uh, I definitely, I'm definitely going to be working on a new album. Um, I, I have hopes this year to do another main album as well as another Christmas one. Um, I had done a couple Christmas EPs back in like 2020 and 21, but then the couple of years since then, I've only done like a single here or there. So I'm hoping to do two different albums this year to be able to have a good, a good amount of music to put out, maybe some more music videos and stuff too. Um, so that's, that's a lot of my plans with Searching Serenity. Is just a, two different albums. See, it takes one, bands so yeah. long. To, it takes them years to make one album. You, mm -hmm. do, your, your process of how you create music is just, just quick, quick, quick like that. When I can get it, yeah. When I can sit down in the mood and whatnot, I can sometimes be able to get like a whole song out in an evening or something. And that not, that's not always. It's not like that every night, of course. But if I get in the right mindset, yeah. Do you ever dabble with features or, or let's say, let's say hypothetically mm. uh, a one time only pro bono, this artist do won't charge you a dollar. Who is the perfect vocalist Ooh. to, to be on a searching serenity song that has not been on one? Oh my gosh. I would have to say Kyle Anderson of brand of sacrifice. They have been, they've been one of my favorites for years. Uh, I love berserk and dark souls, which all their materials like based off of so that's cool too but man that dude is just a freaking beast um and I, I would love to even i would i would hire him like i would pay for him to be on um and that's that's actually a hope of mine this year to be able to get like a good feature um but yeah i, I would say kyle a brand of sacrifice hands down i think that's a great answer i think that's a great answer yeah. for sure um yeah. let's say let's say i like to throw a lot of hypotheticals out let's say um uh, a big time gig this is one where you just you just have to say yes because they're gonna pay you fat mm. stacks and yeah, uh yeah. and and serenity is playing this show even if it's just one man we got loop pedals we got you know uh backing tracks whatever it takes to pull it off and it's a success yeah. it's a hit there's thousands of people in the crowd what are we eating munchy meal Ooh. afterwards to celebrate it's oh. munchies time it's munchies time yeah bro i am getting the fattest of steaks i'm just getting a straight up steak Maybe a good loaded baked potato, blooming onion. Like, give oh. me the whole package. Oh, we can that's hang out, bro. I'm with it. I'm with it. We can definitely that's, hang out. That, there, there we go. <laughs> so that sounds like some Outback right there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I love Outback. I'll, I'll, and I'll go to regular old Outback. I love Outback. <laughs> I love Outback. Too. You said blooming onion. You had me. You had me right there. Oh, yeah. Oh, In yeah. Uh, Let's try one more of these trivia questions for How I Met Your Mother. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Also in season three. <laughs> There's an episode called Spoiler Alert, where the gang begins to realize each other's flaws. Do you recall this episode? I do, yes. What is Marshall's flaw? He sings whatever he's doing. That is correct! Yeah, hell yeah! Woo! That is correct! <laughs> One out of two ain't bad. I'm suffering this round. <laughs> Rob, do you have, thanks for being a sport and doing it anyway. Do you have anything okay. that freaks you out? Do you have any phobias, anything that scares you? Ooh. Stinging. Man, I, I was thinking about this the other day. Like, I don't, I, I, the one thing that I can think of, I've been on a couple ski trips. I'm, I'm not from anywhere with snow so like you know snow is pretty foreign to me the few times i've done ski trips going down some of those super tall mountains knowing that i could like flip and break my leg or like roll into a snowball or something that's that that was <laughs> one of my biggest fears honestly so like thinking yeah. back like i would say like a skiing accident is one of my biggest fears but you still ski regardless but i would still i would still do it i would still do it with you know with precaution and whatnot it's still fun <laughs> 
what what's a what's a genre of music? Because you listen, you, your music's so like brutally heavy. What's a genre of music we wouldn't expect you to jam, or an artist oh. or two? Okay. Uh, <laughs> I I've been jamming like some Doja Cat recently. Honestly, the poppy side of things, you know. Um, I also love worship music, so I guess that that would be two of the farthest away from metal that I could think of. <laughs> Does has the church ever heard your music, knowing it's Christian, even though it's like very brutally heavy? Do, and do they do they do they frown upon it, or do they give you the thumbs up because there might yeah, be yeah. some like I don't know, I haven't like lyrically broke down your stuff. I don't know if there's like psalms or references to to Jesus and, and Christ and stuff in your music, but yeah, yeah. Is that in present in your music, and is that something that the church again to answer? Uh, what do, what do they think about it? Yeah, that dude. That's a. I mean, that's a great question. I I'm I'm blessed. You know, everyone in my church at least is very kind and supportive, and um, I've never ex I've never encountered anyone that like just immediately like shoots it down. You know, they they know they know where I'm coming from with it. They know what I'm about with it, and they can appreciate that. Um, I've definitely experienced other people in other cases that are like, oh my gosh, that's satanic and evil and demonic and it sounds bad, therefore it is bad. It's like, all right, you can think that. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I'm, I'm thankful. I mean, everyone in my church and my community is real, real supportive of it. That they might awesome. not like the sound, but that's, but they're, they're still supportive of it. That is awesome. Heck yeah. 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 <clears throat> um, what, when, when you, when you, of all the songs that you have, cause you have a lot of material. What sure. what was the hardest song to to nail either from a vocal perspective and why mm -hmm. or maybe it was a particular riff where you're just sweeping or just shredding out of control yeah. that took hundreds and hundreds of takes to finally nail <laughs> before we hear it for the first time. Okay. Uh This one's a little bit older, but I would say a song called The Possession. Um, that was the first song where I recorded it on an actual nine string guitar. Um, so, and there's a couple riffs in it that I, I love, I love to death, but they're just really freaking tricky. <laughs> so that was definitely one I would say is like the most difficult one that I had, uh, problems with, I guess. How many guitars yeah. do you own? Oh, 20 something. <laughs> 20 something? What? Yeah. That is crazy. Yeah. Do you have a personal it's, favorite? It's bad. I uh, my personal favorite is probably my nine string. It's a an agile nine string. It's got a really pretty uh, purple and blue pattern on it. And that's that's probably my favorite. Do you, are you endorsed by any guitar companies? Anyone you want to plug? I'm not. Uh, no, I mean I I love Jackson. I love Ibanez. I love Agile. But no, I don't have any endorsements or anything. Um, I, I, I love Harley Benton guitars too. That's, I have a lot because I get a lot of Harley Benton ones cause they're very cheap, but they're still really well made and good for modding and whatnot. Chat wants to know if it's impossible for you to go grab the nine string so we can see it. If, Hey, hey give me like 20 seconds. I can go get it. Okay, cool. Seconds. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Damn it. I was only able to stump him once. I know he has the wireless on so he can hear me. I was only able to stump him once. That always bothers me. But uh, what a what a great guy, man! We gotta get him an endorsement. He's got twenty guitars. Uh, there, I know that Ernie Ball, Ernie Ball is fairly easy to get endorsement from as far as strings go, and guitar players break strings so often that that should be one that we for sure should help him. Out. Oh, look at that thing! There we go. Look there at that thing go. right there. I just I love that color, man. I just when I saw that online, I was like, dude, I gotta have that. Yeah, that is fly, bro. Yeah, and I mean, as you can see, here's my hand. I mean, this thing is thick. <laughs> yeah, that's a thick boy. It's like boy. a tree trunk. So got, it was it was weird, weird to get used to, but <laughs> it's got some girth, for yes. sure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see, let's see. Yeah. Um, if if you could play anywhere in the world, where would you want to mm -hmm. play? Just maybe like a one-off show. Uh, a lot of people say Japan or Australia, but is there a particular country and or venue that you've always kind of eyeballed? Like, I want to play Red Rocks. I want to play here. And where is that? Yeah, I was actually going to say Red Rocks. That's it's, funny that you say that. Supposedly that it's the be best. One. Supposedly it's the best. 
Yeah, it's just so unique. It's so cool looking, you know? I mean, there's definitely a ton of cool venues out there, but I cannot think of one that compares to that one. Um, I think that would be insane. Do you have a name for the nine string? Like you call you call her <laughs> anything? I actually don't. Dang, I, I've I've never been good at nickname and stuff, so I don't I don't have nicknames. But I'll have to think about that. I'll have to think of a good one, I guess. Big Bertha. I don't know. I like it. I like it. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Okay. There we go. There we go. <laughs> you heard it here first. Do you, are you a sports fan? I know that there must be a lot of Jaguars fans in your area. True. I I'm I'm not too much. I I'm a Jaguars fan when they start to do really good. When the hype starts building, then I kind of jump on the train. Uh, but I didn't grow up watching sports, and I just never quite latched onto it too much. Uh, but I love I love talking about it with people the best I can. I've got a lot of friends that are like massive diehard sports fans. Chad is suggesting Gertha Bertha. Oh my gosh, <laughs> <laughs> Gertha I mean, it, Bertha! It, it makes sense. It makes sense. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Hell yeah. Is there, is there, just is there, them, just for them, I'll name it that. <laughs> I, I first, I also, I owe you an apology. The first time we were supposed to, to chat and have some fun, I was puking all night, which is a, very oh, rare wow. for me. I never, Bro. ever, ever cancel shows. And I felt so bad uh, having to do that Dude. to you. So I appreciate you uh, being able to reschedule it and hop on, man. Of course. Oh, dude, no apologies at all. There's been a lot of stuff going around <laughs> this last couple of weeks, so I totally get it. It was weird. It was like a 24-hour bug where I just, uh, oh, man, it, it took me out of the game. It took me out of the game yeah. all day, all yeah. night, and my wife had to bring me soup and all kinds of stuff in the bed, and I hate, I hate uh, that, so I'm sorry about that one. Oh, dude, I'm glad you're doing better now. That's all that matters. Yeah, one day, one day down, I'm back. Uh, is, is there anything that we did not discuss today that you, that you'd like to, to chat about before, uh, before we, uh, let you go? And if it's okay with you, we put this on YouTube tomorrow morning, tag you in a bunch of stuff. Sweet. Um, I don't know, man. Uh, I could tell you, I'll tell you a quick little funny anecdote about a show that we had once, if that's cool. Absolutely. Something that makes me laugh. Yeah. The, uh, very quick and random, but I was playing a show once, uh, at a local place called the Murray Hill Theater, which is like a Christian venue. It's really cool. Um, had not been impending doom and stuff like that come through a lot. But I was playing a show there once, and the stage was like six, seven feet tall, which is not something I was used to because no, most of the shows we ever did were little coffee shop type places, you know, like real mm. small. So we're playing at this venue, and I'm running around with my wireless pack, which I had just gotten. So I was like real free. And I walk forward a little too much, and I fell right off the stage, guitar in hand and everything. And thankfully, I didn't die. I didn't break anything. I just kind of, like, cracked up and, like, probably, like, hit a bunch of people on my way down. Uh, but I live to tell the tale, and I just – I always think about that. I think that's kind of just a funny little thing that happened once. <laughs> no damage to the guitar? No, no. No damage at all. It, it made it out alive somehow. I, I must have like braced it like real carefully or something. I'd... <laughs> you were like, ah, ah, ah. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> exactly. All seven feet. Ah. <laughs> That's hilarious. Hell yeah. I'm or... only like five foot five, so seven feet for me is like a, a, a long way, you know? So. <laughs> That's, that is... That's funny. Well, I'm glad you're okay, man. And uh, this oh, is yeah. fun. So we got we have two albums coming from you, and this in 2024 is the goal. That is my goal. That is my goal. Yes. Any any. I think I can make it happen. Tentative release timetable of a first single and or announcement. Yeah. I uh I, I will I'll mention one other thing which kind of plays into that. I um I've been kind of doing like five year anniversary playthroughs of just whatever came five years ago. So I am working on a five-year anniversary playthrough for my album, Revelation, The End. And timeline-wise, my goal is to have that done in the next month or so so that I can be able to work on the next album and try and get a single out maybe by April or May. And then maybe a release in like the early or like the late summer, like August, September. Hell that's yeah. that's kind of like what I'm thinking. That's kind of what I'm thinking. That's awesome. Well, we look forward to yeah. that. And, uh, dude, I, Rob, I appreciate your time. Thank you so much for, for hanging for a little while, being in chat before we got you in here. But uh, this yeah. was awesome, man. We're going to throw this on YouTube tomorrow morning. I'll, I'll send you a link for it late tonight. I don't know if you'll still be up, but if you're not, you'll wake up before I do. And you'll see 
do the the time changes three hours ahead blah blah you'll see the link oh yeah whatever um and then um yeah man just this was fun if we could maybe do a follow-up maybe six or seven months from now and just touch base and see how yeah. the progress is coming see how you've grown and 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 what's what's next and what's new if that's cool I'd absolutely love that. That'll give me time to get some more hot sauce, too. All right. Excellent. Hell Something yeah. a little bit excellent. spicier, so that'd be perfect. <laughs> no worries. That'd be awesome, man. Well, thank you, Rob. I appreciate you, brother. Enjoy the rest of your evening, and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see you in the near future, man. We look forward to those two albums. Awesome, this is man. fun. Thank you, man. Thank you so much for having me. It's great to hang and chat. I appreciate uh, it. The pleasure is all mine. Thank you so much. Rob hey, of Searching Serenity! Yeah, hell yeah! Woo! Enjoy the rest of your day, sir. Thank you again.